Ram Charan, leaders at all levels, deepening your talent pool to solve the succession crisis. Leaders at all levels, deepening your talent pool to solve the succession crisis, by Ram Charan, offers a revolutionary approach to CEO succession through hands-on training and apprenticeship. This book tackles the often insufficient and misguided investment in leadership development that many companies face, underlining the significance of cultivating competent future CEOs. Charon introduces the apprenticeship model, a method through which potential leaders learn by doing, fulfilling their potential to drive businesses to success. The book focuses on identifying high-performing individuals, creating custom-tailored career paths for them, and mentoring their growth effectively. The Apprenticeship Model for Future CEOs Is your company prepared to fill a leadership vacuum left by a departed CEO? The Apprenticeship Model offers an effective solution for leadership development and training. This approach provides accelerated educational opportunities tailored to specific CEO positions, utilizing feedback and practice. The model requires a strong talent pool of potential CEOs and capable executives who can teach them about leadership. Many companies are not investing adequately in leadership development and training, leading to a high risk of recruiting CEOs externally. This failing can be both risky and expensive. However, the apprenticeship model has proven effective for prominent firms such as Novartis, General Electric, Colgate Palmolive, Wellpoint, and Textron. So, is your board and executives prepared to make this investment? Leadership Training Shortcomings Most companies fail at succession planning and leadership training due to a lack of discipline and a focus on the wrong areas. This is alarming because many talented individuals with great potential miss out on the chance to become brilliant leaders. Shortcomings in typical succession programs include not identifying capable individuals early enough, not making leadership training an essential part of every senior executive's role, and using a one-size-fits-all approach to career advancement. Furthermore, some companies use classroom training instead of on-the-job training to develop their future CEOs. The Apprenticeship Model for Developing Leaders The apprenticeship model is a practical approach to developing leaders that doesn't rely on conventional methods like books and classrooms. Instead, it focuses on on-the-job training, where potential leaders learn by doing. The first step in setting up such a program is to identify high-potential leaders and spot them early in their careers. They should possess innate qualities such as the ability to master new job skills, strong communication skills, and the ability to work effectively with others. Once identified, these individuals should be given customized job assignments that enable them to learn how to make CEO-level decisions. The apprenticeship model involves focusing on output, lining up mentors who will invest in the development of young leaders, involving a small number of potential candidates in training and development, defining and assessing their skills, and setting them up for major leaps of complexity and responsibility. The emphasis is on deliberate practice rather than theoretical training and exposure. The apprenticeship model is a practical and effective approach to developing leaders who can take on senior leadership positions. Colgate Palmolive's Approach to Identifying Future Leaders Colgate Palmolive has a strong leadership program that identifies potential leaders globally, regionally, and locally. The selection process for future leaders starts early, and each subsidiary manager nominates high-potential candidates. The company shortlists a pool of approximately 500 future leaders and invests in those considered blockbusters. Future leaders must be visionary with both people and business acumen, drive, ambition, and a wide bandwidth. Colgate Palmolive's approach to identifying future leaders creates a competitive advantage that focuses on bringing out the best in its leaders. Developing High Potential Leaders High potential leaders need carefully planned career paths to gain the knowledge, competence, and skills necessary for success. Providing challenging experiences through horizontal moves and targeted job assignments can help these leaders grow while protecting the business from undue risk. It is essential to unblock positions and have firm support from senior management to deploy and develop the next generation of leadership talent. 
Room for failure should always be factored in, and leaders in training should be constantly challenged to achieve their developmental goals. Effective Boss Mentor Strategies Effective boss mentors understand that nurturing high potential leaders is crucial to the success of any organization. Such bosses continually focus on this objective and provide timely, direct feedback to their protégés. They also question them incisively about operations to enhance their business understanding and widen their grasp of significant issues. Successful boss mentors remain involved with their protégés' professional growth, regardless of their career paths within or outside the company. They also develop and update each protégé's growth trajectory, a document that summarizes their career progression, including executive positions and accomplishments within the organization. Decisiveness, ambition, persuasion, innovation, emotional centeredness, willingness to learn, and effective time management are some of the qualities that successful boss mentors seek to instill in their protégés. They also aim to develop their protégé's ability to lead cohesive and high-performing teams, handle relationships with stakeholders, see the bigger picture while paying attention to details, and work through obstacles and setbacks without complaining. Lastly, they aim to nurture leadership potential and emphasize earning respect over being liked. By implementing these strategies, bosses can enhance the effectiveness of the apprenticeship model. The Essential Traits of a Successful CEO the apprenticeship model presents a plan for CEO succession that ensures a viable pool of candidates for this core executive position. While human resources professionals serve as trustees of the program, it is the responsibility of the board to choose the right person for the job. CEO candidates must possess the essential traits of anticipating the future, being the right fit for the role, and having the ability to evaluate people and make critical decisions. The board must develop the correct criteria to judge candidates and have a firm grasp of what CEO characteristics their company requires. Using the apprenticeship model, while looking for potential CEO candidates from within, can result in the most fruitful selection. However, during company turnarounds, it may be necessary to find a CEO outside the organization. Therefore, planning CEO succession wisely is critical, and few corporate decisions will be as significant as this one. In conclusion, Ram Charan's groundbreaking book, Leaders at All Levels, brings a novel perspective to addressing the succession crisis faced by many organizations. It encourages businesses to invest significantly in leadership development and adopt the apprenticeship model, which highlights the importance of hands-on training for CEOs in the making. Committed mentorship, custom job assignments, and learning through real-life experiences are emphasized as essential components of this approach. Ultimately, Charon's insights serve as a valuable resource for those interested in fostering a robust, skilled talent pool that can assure the smooth succession of leadership within their organizations.